Hello everyone, this is a Tech Whiz video. Today I want to demonstrate notification area icons in Windows 7. So notification area icons are those icons that exist to the left of the time and date in your taskbar. So that would be these icons here. And as you can see, these are the ones that are being displayed. I have my speakers at 100%, uh, my wireless network. And then to the left of that, you have an up arrow that says show hidden icons. Okay, and that displays other notification area icons that are currently hidden. Now let's talk about a way that you can, there's two ways that you can manipulate those if you would rather have some of those display uh, next to the time instead of being hidden or if you want to make some of those hidden instead of active down here. So the first way and what I think is the easiest way is simply to click and drag. So I'm going to left click and hold on the magic jack icon, drag it down here and drop it. And that actually changed the way that notification area icon behaves. From now on it will always be there unless I change that setting. So drag and drop is one way. Now let's I'll show you how you can hide it. Same process, left click and hold. I'm going to drag over to the up arrow, then I'm going to go up into this little window here and I'm going to drop it and it is now a hidden icon again. So it will no longer display next to the time and date. Now the second way you can manipulate that is actually through the customize button on the show hidden icons. So if we left click on customize, that will take us into this notification area icon uh, menu or screen where I can manipulate how these icons are handled. So I will show you the same process. There are basically three settings in here. Show icon and notifications, which basically means it's going to display as down here in the active window. Hide icon and notifications, in which case it will show in the hidden icons, but it also will not provide any notifications. Notifications are those little pop-ups I'm sure we've all seen when uh, an action occurs that's sp specific to one of the icons. So for example, if I plug in a USB stick, a lot of times I'll get a system notification that, you know, it's, it's installed the drivers or it's recognized that something's been plugged in. Okay, and the last one, only show notifications, means, it, means that it's going to be hidden, but that it will pop up notifications should it need to. So I'll show you, I will change Magic Jack again to show icon and notifications, which will make it an active icon, just like it did when I dragged it and dropped it. Okay, so Magic Jack's now a shown app, uh, notification area icon again. And I'm going to turn that back off because I liked how it was before, so I'm going to set it back to only show notifications, which will make it a hidden icon and it will show any notifications necessary. Okay, and lastly, let's talk about system icons. You can actually turn on or off some of the system icons. And that's actually in the same menu by hitting Customize off of the up arrow, left click and Customize. Then if I left click Turn System Icons on or off, I can actually turn some of these uh, pretty much as it says on or off. So for example, I have turned off the action center simply because it wants me to set up a backup and I don't want to do it and I get tired of seeing that icon. But if I left click on that drop down and turn it back on and click OK and then OK again, you can see that the notification icon is back on. And again it wants me to set up a backup. Well I don't want to do that so again I'm going to left click on the show hidden icons. I'm going to left click on customize left click on turn system icons on or off, left click on the drop down and select off again, OK, OK, and those were left clicks on OK obviously, but uh, that's pretty much it. I appreciate you watching this video. If you have any questions for me, please leave them in the comments section. Please subscribe to my channel. Thanks and have a great day.